Hey. Welcome to Omnicorp. Thank you. Come with me. Welcome to Omnicorp, John. I tell you, man, you're going to love this place. Hey, buddy! What's up? Yeah, that's Sanders. Oh, okay. He throws the best office oh, parties you've ever seen. And uh, over there is the water fountain. You know, duh, of course. Uh, and there's Deborah, and she's single. And uh, over there is uh, Johnson's office. And don't, don't go there. He's not a nice guy. All right. <laughs> so anyway, here's your office, buddy. Welcome to the team. Hello, Omnicore Insurance. John speaking. Hi, my name is Zach Sawyer and I have cancer. Can you help me? Okay, sir. I will try as hard as I can to help you. Hey there, new guy. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty well. I'm looking oh, through the papers. Oh, oh, that's nice. You see, um, recently? I uh, came across some info that uh, you are losing me just a ton of money on this Sawyer case. Oh, uh, well, I thought this was an insurance company, you know, so... Well, uh, so, so you thought what? So I thought we should help people, you know? No, so. no, you, you, no you, you don't get it. Get We're what? supposed to help our people, not just people. Ours. This, this is not what we're about. Okay, we're in, we're interest we're, we're just focusing on our own interests. Yo, I'm sorry. I think you're wrong. Well, you know, what? I think you should pick those up. Pick what up? Hello? Mr. Sawyer, it's John Lewis. They don't want me to help you, but I will do whatever I can to make sure you get your money. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Lewis. You're welcome, but please, it's a secret. Don't tell anybody. I promise not to tell anyone. Th what? No. Well, no, she... No. Well, Deborah's a liar. Yeah, okay. What? Fine. Fine. Okay, fine. Oh, John. Come here. So, do you, uh, do you know why I called you in here? Well, um, I... Well, you see, the reason I called you in here was to tell you that we're a company, not a charity. And that's something that you just don't seem to understand. Yeah, well, I've made it my personal goal when I came here to help every man, woman, and child. That's um, That's just I think you lost sight of what's important here. And what would that be? We have to offer options for the poor, the marginalized, and the sick. But what about the money, John? Screw the money! This man over on your left shoulder offered his life to the poor, and you can't even help this one man in need. But what about the money, John? Money is a poison that has stolen the morality of men. This is not what I signed up for! Hey, John. You're fired. Don't worry. I quit. Round and 
you still got those plans for tonight? What? No. No, she won't be a problem. Y yeah, well, I know that I'm technically married to her, but, you know, I mean, we don't have to let her know. Alright, see you tonight, Deborah. See the point. Yeah, have a nice day. What? What? Ah! what? You just been justified. I've seen corruption, not only in the city streets, but also in its office buildings. I swear to fight for truth, justice, and equality. My name is. The Justifier. Does John Lewis, the Justifier, do the right thing? When does the desire for money outweigh compassion for the common man? How can the poor and sick be taken care of in a corrupt world? We can help by caring more for others and less about money. If we take the necessary steps to erase apathy and self-interest and reach out for our fellow man, the world will be a better place.